Hello, my name is Cornelius Kölbel, and I want to show you the Privacy Idea Appliance, or a special part of the Privacy Idea Appliance, the Privacy Idea Setup Tool. The Privacy Idea Setup Tool is meant to help you with basic tasks regarding the radius, the database, backup and restore. The nice thing about the Setup Tool is the fact that it has absolutely no requirements it comes as a, a text-based dialogue um, interface, which can be run via any SSH connection on your server. So you do not want uh, need to worry that you have to have any web server, database, or whatever running. Privacy idea setup tool. The privacy idea setup tool um, has several menus you can configure privacy idea aspects like changing the log level changing local administrators and this is okay changing local administrators for example i don't need the administrator super anymore and um, you can configure backups to define to, to create backups at, at certain times um, or you can define the radius clients. So your SSL VPN, your firewall, where you use two-factor authentication with privacy idea. These clients can be defined here or deleted. So, but probably the most interesting part here is the database menu, because in the database menu, you can set up redundancy. And the nice thing about setting up redundancy is that you do not have to know anything about MySQL, about masters, about slaves, and you just need to know where are my machines. In my scenario, I have two machines. This is my, let's say, productive privacy ID machine. In my productive privacy ID machine, I have at the moment four tokens. And then I had a machine in the lab I used to do testing with. The machine in the lab has already 10 tokens, it's, but it's in a state I, I do not care about. But I thought, oh, I just can take this second machine and join it in a master master replication. Of course, I can also use a new machine to do this. OK, so on my productive system, I enter the menu database and go to setup redundancy. All I need to know is the IP address of my remote machine of the new machine. And of course, the root password of the machine because we need to do several configuration steps on this machine. Then finally, I need to enter the IP address of my local machine. This is the IP address the remote machine uses to contact this machine for replication. And this is all I have to enter, nothing more. Now the setup tool checks on the remote machine if privacy idea and MySQL is installed. It is, and now we can proceed. Now the setup tool does the whole rest. It copies files. It changes the configuration of the MySQL server. It restarts the MySQL server. Now it stops the local web server and the remote ser uh, web server to avoid any database changes during this configuration step. And we are already done. Um, here you can see it dumped the local database and copied it to the remote machine so that both nodes, both masters are on the same level. And then it does some database stuff. Um, and finally, we are all set. You see my remote machine now contains also only the four tokens like my productive system. And now, hmm. We can see if 
everything worked fine. This is my local machine, the first master of the master replication. I log in and see my four tokens and I just, just enroll a new token. <clears throat> okay, now I have five tokens. This is my local machine. I have five tokens and the second master of my uh, master master replication bummer has four tokens. I think this happens sometimes. I just um, repeat the step. Okay, of course, now I will see the five tokens on the remote machine because the data was copied to the second master. But the interesting thing is when I now, for example, delete my fifth token on the remote machine, I see the four tokens and also on the local machine. So this is an idea to give you uh, the possibility of this setup tool. Um, it will be a bit streamlined and it will be released shortly and it will be available to all customers of Privacy Idea with a valid support contract. So thanks for watching and stay tuned.